What's going on guys? Today I'm back with another review and I have to say I think out of all the products that I've reviewed so far these are probably my favorite. So without further ado let's go ahead and get started with the Oliver All Over Shorts. If you haven't been to my channel before this is where I do honest clothing reviews. I always try on all my clothes and then at the end of the video I give it a score out of 10 based on three criteria. The first one is fit worth four points. Second one is comfort worth three points. And the third one is style, which is how good it looks for an additional three points. All right, that gives you a total of 10. And I give scores that have one decimal place. So like 7.1 or 8.2, you know, numbers like that. So if you're watching this video, you probably already know that these are really expensive shorts but I can honestly say that you get what you pay for, and in my opinion, they're 100% worth it. I wear these as everyday shorts. I literally just wore these in the ocean the other day. I wear them to work out, just to hang out in. They're extremely versatile, and they look really good. So one of the things I started doing is going into my closet and getting rid of everything that doesn't fit me exactly the way that I want it. I want all my clothes to fit me perfectly, be comfortable, and just high quality. So I noticed I didn't really have great shorts and I figured, you know what, let me do some research and get awesome shorts that I'll wear for a really long time. So I decided to invest in these and I am so happy with this purchase so far. So I just wanna talk about a couple of the things that I love about these shorts. So number one, right off the bat, is their color selection. They have a bunch of different colors that you can choose from and all of them are like awesome. I'm not a big like neon kind of person. I like the earthy tones and they have that. And there's, I don't even know, probably like 12 or 15, something crazy like that. In addition to that, I love that all of their colors have like this matte finish. I've always been like a matte finish kind of guy. I'm not a big glossy um, person. I just, I just love the matte finish look on these. My favorite thing about these shorts is probably how deep the pockets are. So, you know when you have your AirPods or even your phone while you're working out in your pocket and if the pockets are shallow, as soon as you lay back and get on the bench, they fall out. These, I've not had that problem yet. They just go literally like almost all the way down to the bottom of the short. Another thing is that they give you an option to have a liner on the inside. So, you have this really, really soft, comfy, stretchy liner. I really don't have any other shorts that have liners, so I don't know what to compare it to, but they just feel super soft and, and premium, um, really comfortable. Like I don't wear underwear with these when I wear it with the liner. I have, I have another pair that I'll show you as well that doesn't have the liner because I wanted to have that option. Um, but I think I'd I like these better for sure. All right, and here's what the shorts look like without the liner. It's like a little different, more sheer on the front. One of my favorite things that they do is put the drawstrings on the inside. So you have the option to you know wear them like this with the drawstrings on the inside or flop them out if you want to. I'm more of like an inside kind of guy, but you know you do have that option. Um, as well as that, you have this little pocket on the inside that has another pocket you can slide your stuff into, maybe like AirPods or whatever. I mean, you know, I don't, I'm not sure, sure if I even use that, but it's cool to have. You can just feel how durable these are. You know, like when I got them, I was like, oh, I'm, I could definitely wear these in the ocean. I could definitely work out in these. And if you feel it, you would just know what I'm, what I'm saying. It just feels so high quality. So like I mentioned earlier, I'm only trying to buy clothes that are high quality and they just have an awesome fit. So one of the things that I recommend doing is finding a pair of your shorts that you have right now and measuring the leg hole opening. So from right here to right here and see what that is. And then either go on the website of, you know, shorts that you're looking at and see if they have that measurement or go on Instagram. This is what I've been doing. Go on Instagram and send them a DM and say, Hey, for these shorts, what's the leg hole opening? in you know a medium or whatever size that you are. So these right here measure at 
a little over like 20 inches. Yeah, it's a little over 20 inches because I, when I measured it, it was a little over 10 from here. So the whole thing is like 20.5, I would say. And that's perfect for me. What I don't want is like a really, really wide leg. You know, I already have chicken legs, so it's like that just makes them look skinnier. <laughs> and I'm not about that. And I also wanted to say that I know there's like a newer version of these all over shorts and they changed the fabric. So if you're wanting the new one, make sure it matches what this is. I can't really see it right here, let's see. It's 88% nylon and 12% spandex. So make sure this is the one that you're getting if you're buying from like a used website where, you know, like Mercari or something like that, you might be getting the old one. So just look out, make sure that you get the 88% nylon. I don't think I said this yet, but the ones that I got are a 7.5 inseam. So if you don't know what the inseam is, that's from the middle of the short right here all the way to the end. Okay, so like this part right here is the inseam. And they give you options. So if you don't want 7.5, if that's too short for you and you want something a little longer, they have a 9.5. Um, and if it's too short for you, they also have a five, five and a half, I believe, yeah. So out of all those things that I really love, there's just one thing that I don't like, and I know they're not gonna change it because it's like their signature, but it's these yellow drawstrings, like the end of the drawstring. I just don't, I don't like that. I wish it was like the same color as the short, you know? But super minor, at least they give me the option to put them on the inside and just rock it like that. So yeah, to be honest, that's really the only thing that I don't like about these, which is crazy because I'm super picky with like everything. So super, super happy with this purchase. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and try each one of these on now so you can see what they look like. And also I just wanna say, if you're worried about the price, I have a link in the description below that can give you guys $25 off if you spend $100. And since they're like, you know, over $60 shorts, you just get two and that brings you down 25 bucks, so pretty cool. I was just upstairs editing this video and I realized that I never recorded myself giving the score so I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. First for fit we have a 3.6 out of 4. For comfort we have a 2.6 out of 3 and then for style really high score we have a 2.8 out of 3. So that gives it a total of 9.0 out of 10. I don't know how I keep getting these round numbers it's crazy I didn't mean to do that but um really high on style because I just love the way that they look. I feel like I can't say enough good things about them. The color selections are awesome. Um, you, you don't really want to be wearing like cargo shorts anymore with all the pockets. These ones are just like very simple and clean looking and they just look really good. So overall, are Oliver shorts expensive? Yeah, but are they worth it? 100% in my opinion. Like I said, these are probably my favorite products that I've got all year so i would say if you can afford them i definitely recommend it 
Um, but with that being said, we just wanted to say thank you so much for watching. I'm pulling out my cheat code here. Um, this is Kate, he's 11 months old, and he actually oh. did his first steps today. So I think that's at least worth a like, maybe a subscribe. But either way, we appreciate you watching. Thank you so much, and I will see you on the next one. Say bye.